Hi there, my name is Marcus. I'm the developer advocate at the Vaadin Elements team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vaadin Elements together with basically any framework or even without a framework. So one of the great things with Vaadin Elements is that since they're based on the web component standards, they're not tied to a specific framework. In this case, I have a jQuery application where I'm using the date picker from uh, jQuery UI. And it's kind of data looking, so I want to change that uh, to a bottom date picker to get kind of a more modern look and feel. Uh, what I don't want to do is change the underlying app from being a jQuery app, so I'm still going to use jQuery for handling all the events and do things like that. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Here in my uh, project, I'm going to go and install Vaadin Date Picker and the Volo theme for that. If you're not familiar with our theming system, go and check out the theming section on the Vaadin Elements page. For now, we're going to use Bower to install uh, both the Vaadin Volo theme and the Vaadin Date Picker. Uh, this will take just a moment, and once it's done, we can get coding. So there's uh, a couple of things that we'll do here. So since I'm not going to use jQuery UI anymore, I can go ahead and remove this here. And instead what I'll include is a is a script called Web Components JS. This is a polyfill that enables the use of web components even in browsers that don't have native support for them. So we're just going to include that from the Bower Components folder. Okay, so with that script included, our code is going to work on basically any modern web browser, i.e. 11 and up. The second thing we want to do is include the Vaadin Date Picker and the theme for that. So we're going to do an import. It's going to be a link of type import. And here we're going to, again, go to the Power component. Then we're going to do Vaadin Lalo theme and Vaadin Date Picker from there. Copy that line and take get the bottom date picker itself. All right. So with those in place, we're ready to start using the bottom date picker. So let's go and remove the date pickers we had from before and do two new bottom date pickers. Uh, for these, we're gonna add a label. Then we're going to add an ID. And finally, we're going to add the same class name as we had before. So, date picker. All right, so let's copy that line, fill in these. So, the first date picker will be from ID from. Second one will be to. And that's it. So, now that we're no longer using jQuery UI, we do not need to initialize the date pickers manually anymore. They're going to get initialized already. And the kind of only change that we need to do in our code here is that the, uh, the event that we're going to listen for is not going to be an input change. Rather, it's going to be value changed. Let's go ahead and save this and go to our browser, refresh this. And you can see that the date picker is definitely changed. Let's go and select the date. And you can see that the, uh, that the event got triggered and the dates that we selected still get populated here uh, just as they were before. So that's how you can use panel elements together with pretty much any UI framework that's available. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.